let's get into some true, some BigQuery ness. This is the first of these videos that's that's pretty unique to BigQuery and a, a couple other databases like this, but you won't find this behavior in like a regular Postgres database generally. So if we noticed in the schema a few videos ago, um, you know, we have regular fields, right, that are just like integer or string, and you can see those here, like, you know, visit ID or start time or date. Um, but then we also have these record fields that are nested. So like totals is nested also. And importantly, we have, let's find it here. We have hits, which is nested. So each, this is Google Analytics data by session. So each hit will have a row here. Um, and this is basically called a record because it's not just one single column. It's basically an array of columns that have sub columns. So let's, if we go down to hits here, let's find it again. So don't scroll you to death. Okay, so if we go down to hits here, it's a record, a nested array with all of these sub columns. So there can be multiple hits per session. So each row may have, you know, 10 sub, sub rows of, you know, each hit. Um, so crucially, if we want to look at each page path, right? So if we want to look at like, what, what was the landing page for this session, we have to get into these nested rows and we have to get the page and then we have to get the page path. Um, so you can't just query, you know, yeah, it would be really nice if you could just say, um, hits is entrance, hits page, page path, you know, if you could just, let's just see what happens. If we query that out, uh, that would be, that would be pleasant, right? If you could just list the whole, list the whole column and, and pull it out. Um, we can't do that because of this. It's an array. The record is actually an array structure. So we first need to do is, is flatten that array and don't worry about what that means yet. I'll just show you, uh, what to do here and, and you'll understand. I hope once once we do that. So basically what we want to do is unnest, get into this hits record array and flatten that out so that we can access the columns beneath it. So we can access page path, for example. Um, and the goal here is let's let's pull out um, all of our landing pages uh, to see what the transactions and revenue were by landing page. Um, so to do that, we use this handy dandy function called uh, cross join. And so you basically type in cross join unnest and then the record that you want to unnest by. Um, so if we unnest, unnest by hits, that lets you remove the first um, phrase in that record, that nested record. So we, instead of saying hits dot is entrance, we can just say is entrance and page dot page path. So you basically just remove the first, the first parameter. Um, and basically what that does is flattens each session out um, by all of its hits. So let's just filter out our entrances. So hits that were, you know, we want to pull out the landing page path. So let's filter for um, where is entrance equals true. Um, so you'll see there's 2556 results there. If we look at the actual data set, there are 2556 sessions. So we've pulled out one row. So you notice this is like a tall, a very tall uh, array. So we're only actually able to look at like one row per, per page here. But when we run this, we've flattened it out. So we can see that's how you'll know if your your unnesting has worked properly, if you flattened everything out into just one row for what you want to look at. Um, so what we've done here is we've basically used cross join on nest, we've unnested the hits record, and pulled out from it, um, two of the columns, so page page path and is entrance, and you just the only thing you need to remember is, if say like hits dot is entrance is the full column name, um, you just need to remove that and just pull out the sub column, once you've unnested it. One important thing to note with unnesting um, is, as you'll see here, where you can reference one level deep. So you can say, page dot page path. Um, similarly, if we say we wanted to pull like the browser, if we look at our schema here, um, if we wanted to pull just like device browser, we don't need to unnest that we can just pull that directly. It's once you go down to the third level um, of columns that you have to 
unnest it because you can only you can only query one level down. So let's run this, make sure that works. So cool. Um, yeah, so you can reference the column if there's only if it's only one level deep, if it's three levels deep or more, you need to unnest them. Um, and you can nest your unnesting, right? If you want to unnest one record and then nest, you know, wrap a query around it um, and nest again, you know, I won't show you that because it's a little complicated and there's not a good example with GA data, um, but you can do that. You know, you can unnest again as many times as you like and just wrap the queries. Um, so hope that helps this, you know, honestly learning unnesting with BigQuery really allows you to open up the power of a lot of different data sets um, because a lot of data sets enter data into BigQuery using this array record functionality because it keeps the total number of rows down. Um, so yeah, learning this will really unlock access to like Shopify data, Facebook ads data, and a lot of other data sets that have, have nested records like this. So hope that helps.